This is one way to spend the morning. It's about 8 a.m. on a Sunday, and I'm going to spend the day here in Pacific Beach to show you the ropes and give you an idea of the lifestyle and culture of PB. I have my coffee, I got my pup. Let's go. If you've been following along with me for a while, while I take you on a tour through San Diego, then welcome back. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And make sure you do subscribe and tap the bell to be notified so you can be first to learn about the market here in San Diego, California. The sun is like <laughs> with me right now. My name is Jamie and my team and I help people from all over the country relocate and invest in real estate right here in San Diego. So whether you're looking to purchase now, make a move now, or you're just planning ahead for your future, make sure you give us a call. You can text us, you can email us anytime. All my information is in the description below. We get calls and emails from people relocating from all over and we are happy to help you <laughs> make that move to the best city in California where we do everything but the packing. So where I'm currently at is on Ocean Boulevard, which is the walk path that goes along the main beach in PB. This is where you'll find the cyclists and rollerbladers and joggers. So Ocean Boulevard, it takes you all the way down to Mission Beach, which I will be doing a separate video on Mission Beach specifically because even though it's PB's sister city, it really demands its own attention. So be on the lookout for that video coming soon. Right behind me is Crystal Pier, which is home to the Crystal Pier Hotel. So this has been open since 1927. You can kind of see they're like Cape Cod style cottages and they're right on the pier. Uh, and the cottages range from studios to two bedrooms and they come with full kitchenettes too. So, and a patio. So you kind of get like the front row view of the ocean there. They're in super high demand and there's not too many of them. Summer, for example, the, the high season, they require you to book at least 11 months out. So plan ahead. It's not a place to go. It's not necessarily like a whimsical vacation spot if you're looking primarily at that hotel. There are eight neighborhoods that make up PB. So where I'm at would be considered coastal PB and which was, which is near like the strip and the strip neighborhood is in the heart of PB. It's where all the nightlife scene is. It's where the bulk of the restaurants, the clubs, the bars and all the shopping's at. So it's Garnett Avenue and Grand Avenue that runs from east to west. And then it ends at the coast right here. And then you have Mission Boulevard, which runs from north to south. And those three streets pretty much make up like the three main areas of the strip neighborhood. Other notable neighborhoods include North PB, which is the neighborhood north of Crystal Pier, and that borders La Jolla, or more specifically, the Bird Rock neighborhood in La Jolla, which if you haven't already, go back and watch my previous video. I do a full tour or vlog of La Jolla, and I go over what the Bird Rock neighborhood is as well. But North PB is mostly detached single family homes, and it's mostly families who live in this area as well. It can also be considered more of like a local area as opposed to, you know, Garnet Avenue, which draws in a lot of tourists because you're right next to the main beach. But when you compare North PB to the areas closer to Garnet and Grand, those areas have a lot more like multifamily condo style living, and it's where most of like the younger crowd lives as well. PB can be it definitely be considered a fraternity of San Diego. It draws a younger crowd, especially on a Friday and Saturday night. But you know, a lot of college students live and play in PB. I mean, you have SDU, SDSU, and UCSD all within like 15 minutes of Pacific Beach. Then there's the Kate Sessions Park neighborhood, which has one of the best views in all of San Diego. And one of the best parks too. And that is saying, a lot because there are views in every corner of San Diego, basically. And then right below Kate Sessions is gonna be Central PB. Then there's East PB, which runs off the, which is right off the five freeway. And then the most luxurious part of PB is going to be Crown Point and Sail Bay. While I'm here at like the center, the heart of Pacific Beach, let me show you some cool spots. behind me is 
Kona. This is like a really well-known place for breakfast burritos. Come on. <laughs> if my dog tethered to me. It's really notable for its breakfast burritos. There is always a line, but it is worth the wait. Uh, and they also have like a little coffee shop to attach to it as well. And like a patio and stuff like that. So really popular spot, Kona, right here. It's right by the pier. Here's the entrance to Crystal Pier Hotel. And then now I'm gonna head over to Firehouse. Let's have my dog like attached to my pants and I'm realizing I need to get one of those leashes where it go it like goes around my waist and hooks that would be really convenient for me I think there's this thing called Amazon and they do two-day free shipping I don't think I've ever been here this early before and it's Sunday too most most Sundays are <laughs> most Sundays oh my gosh are quieter like in little Italy where I live it's definitely like a Sunday morning is so nice to go uh, take a walk because it's so quiet. There's nobody up. Everybody was out late on a Saturday partying. So Sunday is actually my favorite day to go out and take a walk early mornings. Next contender is Firehouse right here. This is a cool place. Restaurant turns into a nightclub. They do like trivia nights and bingo nights too. So really cool. Fun spot to go pretty much any day of the week. They have a DJ on Friday and Saturday night. So if you're looking for that kind of vibe, Firehouse. And it's right by the ocean. Oh, and there's also a lifeguard in PB 24 seven. So there's always gonna be a lifeguard on duty too. So if that's important to you, there you go. Another notable spot is, I don't know if you can see it, Ale House right there. So it's the Pacific Beach Ale House. And all these that I'm mentioning to you are really close to Ocean Boulevard. So this is actually one of my favorite spots right here. So Baja Beach Cafe. It's Mexican food, but what's really cool is that they will serve margaritas to go. And what I feel is like a 32 ounce cup. They're huge. So Baja Beach Club, another cool spot right by the water, right on Ocean Boulevard. See what else we got. All right, we made it to my favorite spot, Lahaina Beach House, right there. So that is a really, and then right next to it is a surf shop that does surfing lessons too, but it wouldn't be a beach town if there wasn't a surf shop on every single corner. But Lahaina Beach House is really cool because it's it's like a whole vibe. So it's a really cool place to go and talk and meet people and mingle. You know, simple food, burgers, fries, that type of thing. It's like the spot that people go to. So there you go. It's serene, isn't it? This is Fennel Street Park, which is in Sail Bay, which is in Mission Bay. Uh, cool fact about Mission Bay is that it was once a marsh, and then back in the 40s, they man-made it. I think they took like 25 million cubic yards of sand, and they dredged to create the various landforms that are now what we call Mission Bay. A lot of people come to Mission Bay for the calm water. It's great for swimming, paddle boarding. There's people going out right now. The rowing club is out of Mission Bay. They're out here as well. And then you have SeaWorld, which is just on the other side of the bay from where I'm standing. This park is just so nice. I mean, there's a playground <laughs> right on the water. Hey, if I was a kid, I'd be begging mom every day to take me to this park. <laughs> every time I come out here, there's always people, you know, walking their dogs along the sand, playing fetch. I have my pup with me today, like we know. Uh, there's people working out. There's like a grassy area right here that I always see people working out of. People have their boats, so they dock. People just like have fun in the bay. One cool thing is there's a huge festival. It's like the Festival of Floaties. It's in July of every year. 
and hundreds of people come out here and they put their floaties. Make sure you bring an anchor though, unless you want to float off and end up in the Pacific Ocean. Hey, anything's possible with a few cocktails. You know what I mean? This is like on, you have Sail Bay and then Crown Point. It's like a little bowl right here. Um, all these homes, there's a lot of apartments all along here, down this strip. And then on the other side where you have Crown Point is where you have really beautiful homes. Um, two homes I'm going to show you actually in this video that are currently on the market so you can kind of get an idea of the price point and what's available in this area too and for how much. I can hang out here all day. In fact, I'm like, I need to come out here and paddleboard more often. I do have a paddleboard and I'll go out in Mission Bay, but I don't really come out on this side of Mission Bay. I'm always taking my paddleboard out on the other side of Mission Bay, but I'm like, you know what, next time I'm coming here. The best view in PV right here at Kate Sessions Park. Uh, this park is up in the hills as you can see. You get amazing views. You have views of downtown skyline and you can even see out to the Coronado Bridge from here. All right, so let's talk about housing. This is a beach town. It borders the Hoya. It has Mission Bay on one side and the Pacific Ocean on the other. It does draw a younger crowd, but if you look beyond the nightlife, PV is a very welcoming and tight-knit community. People who have lived here their entire lives. Most residents do rent, but it is depending on the area. The areas that are mostly owner-occupied is going to be like North PB, Crown Point, and the neighborhood that surrounds Kate Sessions Park. The areas surrounding PB like La Jolla are considerably more expensive, which is why PB could be a great opportunity to make your dreams of living oceanfront a reality. The average price for a single family detached home will be in the 1.8 to $2 million range. Now, if you're thinking that a condo might be more in your budget, well, Yes, they can be more affordable, but maybe not as much as you might think. There are a lot of condos and townhomes that border the coast, which inevitably cost upwards of about two million or so. But there are opportunities more inland, like five blocks or so from the ocean, where you can get a condo for under a million. So those opportunities are out there. Pacific Beach is a hotspot for short-term rentals too. So. People will own a secondary vacation home where they use it throughout the year, but also will list it as a short-term rental, you know, to cover the cost when they're not using it. You see that a lot close to like Mission Boulevard. There is actually one listed currently that is active on Airbnb. It's a two bedroom detached home. It's beautifully remodeled and listed for a million ninety-five, and it currently is renting for 300 a night. All right, I think it's time for some breakfast. So I'm gonna head to North PB to a place called Leolani's Cafe and give you a feel for what North PB is all about. You ready? Are you ready? Yeah? <laughs> all right, let's go check it out. North PB is great. It's actually like my favorite part of Pacific Beach. It's not as crowded with tourists and most residents that are out walking around, especially right now on a Sunday, are like heading to brunch, grabbing some coffee. The street that I'm on is Cass Street, which is 
um, where all like the local businesses and good restaurants are. All the streets are named after stones too. So you have Sapphire, Turquoise, Opal, Diamond Street, and the main roads here are going to be uh, Turquoise and Cass Street. It's really a great area and it's only a few blocks away is Termaline Beach, which is like the surf mecca in San Diego. So if you're in the mood to just hang out on the shore and watch the surfers, I definitely recommend this spot. So I got my delicious food so I can go and enjoy it at the beach, but I ended up eating in my car, so oh well. Where I'm now out is at Termaline Beach. The one I mentioned earlier, that's the beach for surfers. I mean, look at the waves. It's kind of cool. But speaking of beaches, for all like the fellow dog owners out there, there is no dog beach in PB and they are pretty restrictive with pups as opposed to some of the other beaches in San Diego. So dogs are not going to be allowed on the beach from April 1st to October 1st, so high season, between 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So all other times, dogs will be allowed, but they must be on a leash. For the nearest dog beach, I would head to either Del Mar or Ocean Beach, and there is a dog beach in Coronado as well. But there is a dog park in PB, and it's Copenhart Dog Park, so. There you go. PB is what I would assume people from outside of California think of, the lifestyle of Californians, you know? Like the laid back, surfing, beach life, living walking distance to the ocean, beach cruising around town. It's the vibe. <laughs> yes, PB is well known for its night scene and it does cater to a younger crowd, but it's one of the best places to live in San Diego. It's so much fun, it's beautiful, the people are awesome. It's really the only beach in San Diego that's walking distance from all like the clubs and bars and restaurants and shops. So Ocean Beach does have its downtown that's right by the beach, but it's not the same as PB. There's really just nothing like it in San Diego. So if you're looking for that kind of lifestyle, then this really is the place to be. During the week, PB is a very quaint town, but it does get inflated during the weekends and summer months, which is to be expected. Overall, it's a vibrant community. So maybe some residents have what we call Peter Pan syndrome, but hey, there are no rules to how we choose to live our lives. Thanks for hanging with me today. I had fun, I hope you had fun as well. Come check out PV and let me know in the comments if you want any recommendations for your next trip down to San Diego. And like I mentioned before, my name is Jamie and I am a realtor and my team help people relocate and invest in real estate from all over the country. So whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning. <laughs> but anyways, whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, know that you can give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email because we are happy to help you make that move to the best city in California, folks, you know, when the time is right. And as always, my friends, stay classy, San Diego.